Oh, I'm on. <laughs> we live, baby. We live. What up? It is um, Bookman Buddha, your favorite being. <laughs> but all right. So I wanted to do a a life update because I really want this channel to be like not only for for me but for other people. I just want to like share my experience and share my being because I feel like just me sharing could like either inspire or teach a lot of people and myself included but so today is what july 5th yeah july 5th um recently i started this like online job like two weeks ago and it's been like pretty cool so far because i've been saying i want to have like an online job and online business and like the idea the end goal and end goal is to be making money no not even money to be making like millions through my laptop no not, not even that to be... all right i just <laughs> They got to be specific with how you word things because that's exactly what the fuck is going to manifest. But um, I just want to have an online business. That's initially, right? So I feel like having a, like a stepping stone towards that is having an online job. So I started my online job like two weeks ago. And I'm basically, the first week I was training and we were did, doing like a lot of um, vir, uh, vir, virtual, chat, and virtual chats and like they were telling about like the business. But now it's like, Last week was my second, second week, and I was basically on my own. And it's basically like I'm just in the crib, like calling di uh, different people, and I'm trying to get them to like these um, different companies to like help them. Basically, so if like a company has an issue with like they're like plumbing or like the sewage or whatever, I'm like the guy who calls like other companies around the area and sends them there. And it's like I'm just doing that like for like eight hours a day. And it's like it's so simple, bro. Like they're paying me, and I'm just like calling people. And like the beautiful thing, don't tell nobody, but. Like while I be working, I be also like watching courses. <laughs> so it's like I'm like, it's like I'm working and I'm like learning at the same time, and it's like a beautiful thing. It's like you're making money, you're learning how to make money. Like I recently I got this um these online courses and the the king the king, he's telling me how to like about the like the stock market and just like money and finance in general because I like him because he like he's very. He's very meticulous in the stuff he teaches, but he's, his energy and his like whole demeanor and his whole character is like also very appealing. You feel me? It's not just like what he teaches, but also himself. So he even tell me like put options, call options, all these different like terminologies. Like I got a whole, if I had my notebook here, I would show y'all. But I got this like whole notebook for this like pages and pages of like stock information. I recently downloaded like um, Fidelity, Ta uh, Fidelity Trader Pro. Uh, Fidelity is like a bank and a investment and brokerage like company. So I recently got that. It's like a, it's like I also might have like a bank account with them too. Because we also have to be very careful about like what banks we choose and why we choose them. Because different banks have like different perks and stuff. Right now I have Schwab because like I used to have Wells, Wells Fargo, but in a lot of the like financial books I like read, they say like um Schwab, F Fidelity, um Fidelity. What else? Morningstar. When it, like just like there's like a different things you gotta know that the options that we get in reality there's more options like usually people people get like a normal bank usually people get like a normal phone like a normal browser like there's a lot of other options like you don't have to use google chrome you don't have to use google fuck you don't have to use google maps you could use something else you don't have to use wells fargo you don't have to use like samsung or apple there's other options so just to always know that the reality this society gives you know that there is actualities that are more so than that it's like even in relationships even in concepts they say oh go to school get a job work 30 years white picket fence mortgage like it's like um retirement i'm like bro there's we're in 2020 fucking one bro like that reality is like from 40 like 50 years ago bro we have different options now and that's the thing about being in this present moment and in the future as time goes on the options expand and humans will be able to do more. Humans will be able to do more, you know? Because before we had to do like a lot of manual stuff. Now there's not as much manual work. And like going in the future, like 70, 80% of these manual jobs, these driver jobs will be out, bro. That's why you have to think about careers and things that are coming down in the future. Because a lot of your mind, bro, your mind, this like this shit right here, like in the, in the middle of your head, this will... Create your reality, bro. See, just have to put your mind in the right place and know what things are coming down the line so you can prepare for it when it comes. Anyway, who I mean, you know, like, I I think I got to really start creating fucking um, templates or, like, <laughs> frameworks for my YouTube videos. Because if not, I was going off. But, yeah, outside of that, 
I also had an, a, another in, uh, interview for another remote job today. And this was a company I used to work with, right? And before, we used to have to go like to people's homes, like sell these products, right? But now it's like remote. And I was pretty like interested in them. Like, oh, how are y'all doing this like remotely? And they actually said last year during the pandemic, they made the most money. Like it was like a boom for them. You feel me? So I may also tap into that because it's like a sales, like it's borderline a sales program and like a sales company because they just sell like these um, kitchen products and like um, gardening products, like tools basically. And I like the tutorial part, right? Because she was saying a, good, a major thing that people learn from the from just being there they learn how to sell themselves you feel me and i feel like a lot of people did that that might go over a lot of pe um, people's heads because a lot of times when people hear sales they think about like a salesperson is like products or like a car lot or like something like that but we're, we're selling constantly like if you're trying to get into a relationship you're selling yourself if you're trying to get into like a business a school a job a corporate like anything you're selling yourself if you're trying to do anything you're borderline I, all right so picture selling as like energy you're giving energy to something you're you're giving energy to something and expectance that it will come back to you or you will be able to go to the next level in a sense you know I me mean? or make money whatever you know what I mean so we're always constantly selling so picture yourself as the brand and picture yourself as the business you're constantly marketing even if you're not trying to market you're marketing because it's like you walk outside if you look a certain way people will treat you a certain way. If you speak a certain way, people will treat you a certain way. It's like you're constantly in this like dynamic where we're all just like constantly marketing, but a lot of people, they don't, they aren't, they aren't fully conscious of it. So they don't even, they don't even try to change anything. But just be aware that it's like, you have to be really careful of like how you treat yourself firstly and how you show yourself in a sense, you feel me? But I'm really, I'm excited for it, right? Because I feel like I really want to tap more into my like my people skills. Because I feel like I could speak fairly well, and I know like I could like if I'm in a group environment, I could make everybody feel like cool and like just like collected. You feel me? And I'm like I'm becoming more aware how I could like shift people's energies or like manipulate people's energies to like just be better. I'm gonna give y'all this quote. It's by Theodore Roosevelt's wife. She was like, "Small minds think about ideas. No, small minds talk about people." Average minds talk about events and great minds speak about ideas. You feel me? And that's like, I might get that shit tatted on me because I love that quote, bro. So anytime I see anybody like speaking about people or events too much in a negative light, I either constantly shift the conversation. I'm like, bro, you're talking about that person too much. Let's speak about something else. Or I just switch the kind of like conversation and not even constantly tell them that. But just be like cognizant about like, when you speak to people, what are they speaking about? You feel me? Because like your net work is your net worth you feel me and like people could either put you in debt or people could get you fucking profits so you gotta be really careful with who you have in your circle you feel me if you're all your friends is like talking shit about people not doing anything not producing anything no like structure no discipline no vision no goals then you're not going to get anywhere so you have to be really careful of who you let in your circle and like who even you let in your mind that's the other reason i got off uh, social media i had people in my social media in my fucking dreams. I'm like, this is too much fucking. Like, this is this is too much. If I got people in my social media, in my dreams, that's too far. But um, yeah. Besides that, I'm excited to like be with like the new job. I'll be able to like expand my skills a bit more. But I'm just really excited for this online stuff, bro. Like, just fully having these things remote. Oh, it's a beautiful time to be alive as a black man as well. It's a beautiful time to be alive, bro. Cause like. I'm also, I may have said this in, in the other video, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm getting more into like web development because I really want to make my own website. Right now, I'm posting these videos onto YouTube, right? Because I don't have my own platform. But the thing I've been realizing, right? You have probably been realizing as well. Freedom of speech online is not a fucking thing. If you post controversial stuff, if you post things that are like too, even if you post good things, even if you're healing people with cancer and AIDS, they will off you. Look at what they did to save you. Like, it's like, you have to be very that's why we need our own platforms and our own spaces i highly recommend if you're in this age if you're seeing in this like if you're seeing this basically please have your own domain your own website your own corporation like just like have your own well all right be careful with that because owning everything in your name like financially could like fuck you up down down the road but in terms of like websites and branding your website, your brand, your business, your family, those things are all like connected to you, right? So be very 
a wearable of how you represent yourself. Even like online, I got I gotta really learn the whole thumbnail thing, and I also gotta like really dive deep. Once I have a, a like more like money, I'm gonna buy like a full camera. So I really wanna like be like fully entrenched into this like YouTube stuff too, because it's like a lot of dedication and work. But yeah, man, I'm excited. Life is looking up. Can't really complain. I've been like really alone. And <laughs> it, might, it might it might sound bad, but it's kind of good. I haven't really been talking to like nobody. There's like a few a few people, like one or two people. But in terms of friends, I haven't really been communicating with anybody. And that's not really a me or them thing. It's just like a time thing, I guess, because I've been like off of social media and like a few things like fell through. So I've just really been like tunnel vision on like my job, my courses, is like reading. I've been reading a lot. I'm always reading a lot. You know I'm always reading a lot. Um, right now I'm reading The Rational Male Religion by Rollo Tomasi. And it's such a trip, bro. Because he's basically speaking about relationships like an interpersonal, no, intergender dynamic. And usually people will say, oh, toxic masculinity, oh, patriarchy. But he's giving like a different perspective. And it's like, he's really fucking me up. Cause I'm like, damn, <laughs> like um, not to say I fucked up in relationships, but I wasn't fully cognizant about like how actually they work on like a societal scale or like how, like, no, how Western psychology influences relationships. And that's the other part that, that fucked me up. Especially when I was reading them, um, we went for our sisters what we went for ourselves by Patricia Dixon. After I read that book, I'm like, fuck. Because, like, you realize a lot of these relationship and, like, sexual dynamics that people have, they aren't actually natural for indigenous or melanated beings. Like, a lot of these norms, like, the whole wedding, like, even the wedding ceremony, the whole ritual is Greco-Roman. Like, the whole white, black wedding ring past, like, that's Greco-Roman straight up and down. And then it just really made me cognizant. So, always, like, be, like, learning, bro. Because it's, like, the, the real, more I learn, the more the more I learn, I realize the less I know, bro. And this is, like, so much stuff that I wasn't really cognizant about. The other book I'm reading, Future Shock by Alvin Toffler on God. I'll probably make a whole doc uh, documentary about that book in the future because it's like the concept is so profound. Also, Sun Food Diet Healing System by David Wolfram Walls are reading. And it's like, I've been in this fruit collect like me, like, right? And like, it's pretty, it's not small, but we have a few people, like leaders in a sense. And I've heard like a lot about David Wolf and a lot of people, they speak about him in like a bad light because they said that he was like just pro like molding and like things that were really ben uh, beneficial. But so far, reading it has been pretty good. The other book I'm reading is Sacred Land, Sacred Sex by uh, Blank the De Dolores. And she's speaking about basically how, also she's a white woman, but she's speaking about how like Western being has like disconnected us from like nature, even in like language. I remember this one chapter, she was speaking about how like the English, the English language was like created and she was contrasting it to like Chinese, right? So the Chinese, right, they'll have a word, right? But they have symbols. And in the symbols, they have actual things that represent like life. So they'll be like, oh, like pot symbol, horse symbol, right? And they would mean something. But the thing with English, it took, it's hard to explain. I really got to re reread the book and make a book review. That's what I really got to start doing book reviews. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I could go on all day, but I got I got to go journal. But that's pretty much been my, my life update. It's July 5th, 2021. It's Bookman Basia. And life is abundant. So um, I hope you're well. I hope you're abundant. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Auspicious energy.